Hiya and welcome back to sallyhughesbeauty.com. This is part two of In the Bathroom with Sharmadine Reed. If you're starting here, you've missed one, go back because it was such an interesting conversation we had in part one. But now this is the product bit. Uh, so I'm stood in Sharmadine Reed's bathroom. Kenny is in Sharmadine Reed's bath and here is Sharmadine herself. Talk us through the booty. I always say I'm low maintenance, and then when people make me collect my products, I'm yeah. like, oh my god, I've got so much stuff. All right, so I wake up in the morning, and I like to get dressed immediately, as I said. So I jump in the shower. I have a shower in the morning and then a bath at night, so I wash twice a day. It's a bit extra. And then I wash my face two or three times. I love that product. So I will use... You know, one of the most game-changing things in my 20s was not using exfoliators with grains in. Mm -hmm. Change oh my, my God. skin. No, Why awful. did everyone tell us to grate some paper our face? You, just, you can't exfoliate evenly, finely. It just, just dries my skin out. Yeah. So I now use acidic mm -hmm. uh, things. So I use this. But I actually wash my face first with... Do you know what? It's in here. Go ahead. Yeah, so firstly I wash my face with this, it's quite filthy because it's like a clip. I take my makeup off. Yeah. I take my makeup off by washing my face, not by removing always. Okay. If I'm in the bath, because you know I'm so in the bath. you like to wash and you like to wash locks rather than yeah. have the deep cleanse balm situation. Do you know what I never do is stand up in front of the mirror and take wash my face. Oh, okay. That's probably why. At the end of the day I run a bath. This is why, oh, sorry, it's Still bathy, bath water, and it? it's a bit makeupy dirty. I, I, I wet my face, then I wash it with this twice. Uh -huh. Then once all the dirt and makeup's off, and my skin is clean, so I keep washing it mm -hmm. until it's clean. Then I do this on clean skin. Mm -hmm. For the acid hit. Yeah, and then I actually might do it twice, and I use the tiniest amount, and why did they change the packaging? Please. Tell me. I, I actually you. might transfer this into another bottle because you lose your head in. you lose so much product you need a pump. in that. Yeah. When you only need a tiny amount. This can last months, like six months if you use well, the it will last ages because it's really concentrated, yeah. isn't it? So once I've washed my face, I wash my body. Excuse me. It's here. Now, this I used to use brand Nubian. African black soap soothing wash, uh -huh. but then brand new being sold to Shea Moisture, the company, and Do they you obviously. Like Shea Moisture though, they've got some good products. So they never had this. This was brand new being, which is like a really grassroots New York, um, I believe, uh, like beauty brand, black owned, and it's like ten pounds, ten to fifteen pounds on Amazon. It's really expensive. So then for ages I was like, oh my god, I can't get my shower gel. And then I realised Shea Moisture just took the formula. So Perfect. now I buy this for a tenner. So you can just get that in boots. Yeah. Now, I did get this in boots, which is quite remarkable for me. Bear in mind when I was growing up in Wolverhampton, you had to go to the black hair shop to get so, black hair things. This is a big deal. So do you mainly buy your things on the high street or online or like packs as you mentioned those kind of specialist places? I love going in packs to see what's I going on. Packs. But I love going in boots. The one in Westfield, the layout is so nice. I just love browsing. I browse all the time. It's so great though when you've got a <laughs> beloved project and it goes away, then it comes yeah, back. Yeah, it comes back it's now. It's such a win. I know this is so basic because it's a shower gel, but I think it's so important because I have been, I thought, oh, there's not, nothing that special about this. Shower gels are watery, weak. This one smells really strongly of sandalwood. Oh, that's is there vanilla in there as yeah, well, isn't there? But it's but it's really strong smelling sandalwood, which is quite masculine. Yeah. I prefer a masculine smell. Do you? And yeah, I don't have any perfume as well. No, the only feminine smell I've got is my perfume. I actually used to have a really masculine smell. Um, I used to buy Lalabo. Mm -hmm. Santal thirty three. No, babe. <laughs> Not that basic. Not Let me. me see. Not me. Not my vibe. This one. I love that is one. Is black pepper. I love that one. Now I bought this oh, for a guy. So, nice. so I was dating this guy, and we went into Liberty, and he sprayed it on Can before. A a, yeah, he sprayed it on before a dinner party, and he's like, "Smell it." So I smelled it, and it smelled so good. So I did a proper girly thing of buying it. 
because you liked his smell. I like the smell of him. Oh, it's, it's really, really lovely, black pepper. But it smells exactly like black yeah. pepper. So this reminds Love me it. of being in Italy, smelling boys. So, Show us what else but is the in perfume. This oh no, this cupboard's disgusting. Please, okay. it's the worst. Okay. It's so bad. We'll make oh my god, the smell! I can though. smell it. And so, do you fancy me now? So then, yeah, it's like <laughs> pheromones. Uh, I went to see my mate Twigs, FKA Twigs, in Chateau Marmont, and if you ever were to do it in the bathroom, she's. I've never. S the ritual is insane. She's so self-care to another level i was in shock high maintenance i wouldn't even call it high maintenance i would call it proper self-care like as in when i walked into the her, her suite at chateau Marmont, she was in the bath it was literally like we're no. in the 1930s and we, i was having really a conversation decadent. so decadent her perfumes and then she has another table with other things like yeah quite ritualistic like bits and bobs she's picked up and she looks after herself yeah. body and mind she yeah. smelt incredible so she said it was this so i bought it and it's the purest perfume that smells like jasmine that i've ever used i'm actually not a lush customer apart from this product oh yes it's lovely it's like real jasmine flowers but, but years ago uh the, the owners of lush had um another business after cosmetics to go they had a, a be beautiful or something it was oh. called um, and they did the most brilliant perfumes they were very 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 good at perfumes they've obviously yeah. kept that attention and they have, to detail they have gorilla perfumes now yeah. as well yeah. i think i've met like them they're just the nicest they are people, really good people and i think it's such a That's good business useful. So, you, so are you wearing that quite a lot every day pretty much mm, but the nice. weirdest thing if you buy this guys it stains your clothes so i spent an entire summer wondering why i had red patches on my white clothes i thought it was lip balm that i'd like you know done a bra strap and i was like what the hell it was the great mystery and then i realized it was my perfume so i have to spray so it in my hair yes i was going to say yeah. maybe it's a hair moment exactly and because i love the smell of jasmine flowers in summer that's, love that that's a very true jasmine actually. true it's the truest truest jasmine smell so once i've washed my face washed my body i get out and i oil my body because i'm black and that's what we do and this is a product of a girl that I have mentored and supported, and it's whipped shea butter. So if you, do you know what, I actually think see, this one's empty. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's some. Can I mix that? Yeah, feel it. Now, this is quite specific because shea butter can be very thick, yeah. lumpy, yeah. leave weird bits on your skin. Yeah. It's the texture's like non, no Beautiful. other texture that I felt. It's Beautiful. whipped shea butter and, and the, ref, the oiling. So please, please support her. She's a really amazing young mum. Let me see. You know? And then look at that like little bit of shine, Elenge. but not grease. Elenge? Yeah, I think so. It's like shine without grease. Beautiful. See, I like I mean? to be basted like a turkey. I, I yeah, like that's, very heavy. Oh, moisture. then that is for you. Yeah. And she's got like neroli. Yeah. I, I don't also want light stuff. On so my son's face, I moisturise his face every day. Mm -hmm. My son's mixed race, his dad's white, his dad never creams his face, so for three days his face isn't creamed, so when he has three days with me, I over oil like his face. Oil He's literally like <laughs> shined up, and he really likes this because it has no smell. Mm -hmm. So I use this a Great lot. Product. It's really heavy duty, but with no smell. I use that quite a lot. Um, so I baste my body, spray my perfume. I don't believe in spraying perfume as you're walking out the door. I think it needs to settle. It needs to sit down. Because otherwise you ruin everyone's car journeys, tube journeys, you know. So then I do that. And then I wash my hands. I'm obsessed. This was a game changer for me. Washing my hands between steps. I always do that because I'm funny but about people feeling don't. stuff on my hands. People I don't. don't. Like it. So it's imagine like now I've put that on my hands, I would never touch my face. No, exactly. I'd wash my hands exactly. before I did anything else. So then I wash my hands and then I do. So I've just finished BioEffect 30 day treatment, which is like amazing. Love BioEffect crazy crazy i was in shock it made my skin look like i'd been on holiday in I january say this to people about bioeffect because i think that there's such a culture now where we think okay well i'll use something for six weeks and then maybe my skin will look better yeah people aren't prepared for how rapidly your skin looks better yeah. when you use bioeffect it's, it's so good yeah it's amazing 
You don't even need 30 days. It's insane money, I apologise. It's so expensive, but if you want, like... I was thinking about this when I was preparing for it, because I don't want to get into this culture of, like, you have to spend loads of money on skincare. But then I was like, what circumstances might I have used this, like, maybe five years ago for a special event, a, a wedding, wedding, you know, things like that, where you are going to look radiant. For me now, being 34, I spend much... My money, my big money goes on these two products. And so what's that C Frulic? Yes. Yeah, so this also game changer for my face. Like both of these can be worn under makeup. So what I mean is, because my skin's oily, if I use other like I can't wear this in the day. I can't wear this in the day at so all. So this is Mario Badescu. Yeah. Vitamin C serum. Too heavy? Too heavy. Oily. It looks like an oil. So are you a so serum I'm, and go person? You're not a moisturiser as well? I'm a serum and go. Yeah. I don't, I'm not, weirdly I clean my face with loads of steps. Putting stuff on, no steps. People can't believe how fast I can do my makeup. I put this on, mm -hmm. wait for it to go in. I brush my teeth while it's settling mm -hmm. in so I'm not like waiting. Mm -hmm. It's almost like when you're waiting for your nail polish dry and you do something too quick, yeah? Yeah. If I brush my teeth, it's in. Um, and then... This is so bad. So basically, these are my three things. But okay. make, less Mario Badescu these days, to be honest. These two are my like killer products. Mm -hmm. So once they my, I brush my teeth. <laughs> this is so bad. People are gonna think I'm awful. I get my Fenty Beauty. Mm -hmm. I put two. So measurement is coverage. One pump tinted moisturizer. Two pumps normal. Three pumps. I'm doing something like today. I've got three pumps on because I'm being. It's filled. a three pump day. Three pump day. Yes. Then. I do. do you really? <laughs> yeah. But your skin looks perfect. But I wash my hands before I do it, and then immediately after I do it, it's so bad. I literally pump it, and I put my foundation on like that, which people find hilarious. You must get through a lot of foundation if you're doing that. No, because it's just a two pump and then a wave. So you're so you're rubbing in with your hands. Yeah, and then no I, sponge, no brush. No sponge, no brush. I think they're bacteria harbors. Okay. So then I get a little. So if there's residue in my palm, I dabble it, and then I put it a bit more under there, For and then a bit more coverage. Fenty is really weird, and then it like oxidizes. Really, it feels like a putty finish, so it happens really quickly. So I put it on, and then I just leave it. And then it pretty much disappears into itself. But yeah, some foundations look not very good when they first go on. Then a few minutes later, they exactly. just meld it, into the it skin. Like, yeah, Armani's are like that. Sometimes. So my friend Tash, who's a makeup artist, gave me this product, which is a really game-changing concealer. I have tried other concealers, and then I don't know why this one seems to work so well. It like, you know, it just... What brand is this? Black Opal. I've not even actually seen it anywhere. I have to get it from her. But it gives it's me like a, a professional product. But it gives almost. me a next level coverage, but reflection. You yeah. Know what so I mean? light is everything, isn't it? You want exactly. light onto the face. And then this is great. It's like the lightest highlighter. It actually feels like I'm just rubbing a little bit of oil on so me. So that's by Milk. Yeah. Like if I put it on the bone there so you can see properly. So are you one for glow and light? Do you like that kind of finish? I very rarely use highlighter. If I go through my makeup routine, again, so boring. I rub that Fenty on. Then I get my um, MAC brow. I do that. Mm -hmm. Done. Then I get my Chanel waterproof eyeliner. If I need to sharpen it, I run it on a bit of tissue paper. Mm -hmm. Eyeliner. Mm -hmm. That's it. Then I just put a bit of lipstick on, and then I take so my lipstick. So you're a lipstick, not a gloss girl. Mm, I That's a nice lick time. my lips constantly throughout the day, so I have hundreds of lip things everywhere. I have them in the side of my car, Me on my too. desk. Have lipsticks, lip balms, lip gloss. Me too. So everywhere. I put it on. This is called brownie, and then because my top lip is darker than my bottom, I have to rub it to get them similar and then I do that yeah and then I'm done I put a highlighter Strong. today because I'm being filmed but I wouldn't typically wear highlighter every day I get my lashes done at Slash Beauty in Portobello so I tend to not wear mascara so you have extensions yeah yeah I'm wearing a little bit of mascara now do you find your lashes are fine underneath when they come off because I have with to give up with Slash yeah so Slash 
beauty do two things which made me stick with them. The lashes last a long time, mm -hmm. like three weeks a month. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to keep filling them all the time. And then when I haven't got lashes, it doesn't look shocking. Like right. I've had them done at other places. I had them done for years and in the end I just thought, no, I have to But I, have to I also have Revitalash. Yes. Which I put on when like they're thin. Like when there's hardly any lashes left and my own lashes are a bit more exposed, I'll put this on. Um, and I had my eyebrows microbladed by Rachel Pittman. Mm -hmm. Changed my life. Yes. If I would say there is one completely life-changing treatment I've had, it would be microblading. Yeah. I when it's up, done well, it's amazing, isn't it? I, it, I was like, what? I haven't had eyebrows since I was like 11. She changed my life. I'm getting I a retouch. I just like the low maintenance of them. Because so I've I had wake mine up, done and I they actually look the same yeah, as my brows. They just but look they're the always same. there. Yeah, always there. You wake up, you stay at a boy's house, you know, you don't have to wake up before him and put your eyebrows on so you don't look <laughs> like a crackhead. You yeah, know what I mean? It's been quite a long time since I stayed uh, at an unfamiliar boy's house. So then I. Um, Oh, tell me you've got some P50 there, which is one yeah, of my favourite products. So if I tell you, um, wait, so then when I finish that, I'll do my hair. These are two game-changing products for my hair. I basically just pretty much use Cantu this Beauty. Is a brilliant product. Everyone loves it. It's you know, a brilliant product. It's really good. Like, it's so crazy to have a product that delivers across lots of people. Like, it's, it's not a niche thing, and you can get it in bits. Anywhere with texture in their hair. It's yeah. just such a good product. And then I have to use Well Gel. If I don't have Well Gel my hair will fluff and spring back. So it'll just like start springing back. So what does this do? Define curls? Defines my natural wave and uh, it looks no perfect. No crust, no flake, no nothing. Good. Um, I love the smell of hair gel. It's such yeah, a retro so good. smell. So that's my morning thing. And my night thing is in the bath washing my face. So when I get out the bath at night, I don't oil myself at night because I wear silk pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? I wear you. Olivia Von Halley pajamas, and um, I don't oil myself self at night. So then, I put. I what I do is, if there's any traces left, I still will run a bioderma over my face after I've washed it five to times, up. just to make sure. No, not freshen, just to make sure there's no grease dirt anything i'll do it behind my ears mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. then because you can be foul in london after a day can't you there are bits of dirt that tube, you don't I even know spots. about yeah and then i'll use this witch hazel from america mm -hmm. i can't find this in the uk this is like if i've if i've been on the tube all day extra bacteria antibacterial so i'm getting from you just based on what you're using, so P50, vitamin C, serum and go, witch hazel, I'm getting pigmentation and oil are the things you're yeah. dealing with. Pigmentation, so then once I've done the witch hazel and I let that dry, I then do the P50 game changer, right? It's amazing. Completely. I love it. That's the one I use as well, the pigment yeah. one, because I have pigment pigmentation. One. So you tell me, because I don't truly know, with the acid, I put the acid on my face and I leave it because I think if I put anything on it, then it's not doing its job. Mm -hmm. So let's say I've come home at eight o'clock. I will still have a bath the minute I've walked in. Mm -hmm. I don't like hang out. Like once, if my son's here, I'll make him dinner and mm -hmm. all of that and then I'll run my bath. Once I got out my bath, I put this on, mm -hmm. leave it. But then just before I go to bed, mm -hmm. I'll do the that's, serum. That's fine. If you're comfortable enough doing that, just yeah. do that. That's fine. See, I wouldn't be able to do what that. What do you do? Because I'm, I'm too dry. I could never put that on then wander around the house. Really? I no, absolutely what? not. So I, so <laughs> Am I burning I would, my face off? Well, no, because you've got oil in your face. Yeah, so, so that's what fine. Do, so what do you do? If you're comfy, stick with it. Yeah. So what I would do is, see, I tend to use an acid in the morning because I like the glow under my makeup, typically. Mm. So I would use that. Then, as soon as that had dried off, which yeah, only yeah. takes about 30 seconds, yeah, yeah. then I would put a vitamin C serum on, then I would put my Got moisturizer it. on. But you're fine to do what you're doing, but I couldn't do that because yeah, I would yeah. be really uncomfortable. Hmm. So I acid my face off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, after an hour or two, I put my bedtime serum on. Which or is oil. hot whole variation it could be that i think my skin is very dry and i'll go for the mario badescu one it could be that i think my skin needs a freshen and a tightening then i'll have 
that um, skin SkinCeuticals one. It could be that my skin is really reacting rashes. I, I get stress rash on my face. I also get too much pollution rash. Then I do this whole cleansing thing and then I put pure coconut oil. Okay. So I have coconut oil from Jamaica where someone has made it and decanted it. In, in fact, I'm going to get it. Get it. Because you have to see it. Get it. What's this? Oh, it's a mirror. So the reason I keep it in my kitchen is because I have to melt it to decant it into a bottle. So this is made in Jamaica. You buy it from a lady. You'll just say, who's got coconut oil? And then they melt the coconut. They grate it, obviously do everything. And then they pour it into these old rum bottles. How nice. So Can I, bring... I smell it or does it not smell? Yeah, it should smell of coconut and rum. <laughs> smell like mm. a cocktail. Proper mm. pure coconut oil. Lovely. No nasties, so natural colour. you melt it in the kitchen, then pour it. Exactly. And I'll mix, I'll do mixes of shea and coconut or something. But for my face, I'll use this pure coconut oil. And it's basically The to shea me, won't be good for your face. No, no, no. So, so this is like a healing cream. Mm -hmm. If, you know, and coconut oil If it's has, a bit sensitised yeah. and a bit reactive. Coconut oil has a next level result on my face. Okay. It completely tightens my skin pores are closed, glowing. If I do coconut oil for seven days straight, I'll have a crazy glow. Yeah, I think that's about it. Toothpaste. So I was like obsessed with charcoal like ages ago. And I use this one, but it's really expensive. It's like 15 pound a tube, it really bugs me. So then I've discovered this Your one. Your teeth are perfect though. Perfect, look at this crooked. No, but look how white they are. I'm gonna get Invisalign. See, I had Invisalign, it just drove me crackers. Yeah. Apparently it's better now, but you used to have to keep it in for 22 hours a day and you had to take it out every time you had a cup of tea, which was an issue, so it drove me up the wall. Did you lose loads of weight through not being able to Did eat? Did I, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm definitely like, because my teeth are so fangy, I think I have to try They're keep... nice though. You don't want the kind of Tom Cruise teeth, do you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I just think How can I, I like make it a crooked. Big in America with these teeth. I like it. Yeah, but they're um, healthy. They're white and healthy, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I do. Is this fang? It's so funny. They're like my mum's teeth, identical. But I, I, sweet. I like to have an alternative. I using Colgate or an off-the-shelf toothpaste makes me one of them. Like the taste of it. Oh, really? The I think extreme it, mint. No, no, no. I don't think it feels clean. Like, I need a herbalized, weird... This one's fennel and mint. I need a herbal toothpaste. Um, the other thing I haven't spoken about, which I'm quite obsessed with, is a face mask. Interesting. I use a lot of so masks. So I'm not much of a masker, so would but you use a mask in the bath? Yeah. Yeah. So here, I love Peter Thomas Roth. Yes, very good. I use this pumpkin one, which basically has an acid in it. It's actually quite strong. It's it the enzyme one, bit, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. This one's a black mud, and then this one, the rose, was my secret weapon when I travel because you sleep in it. So let's say you're going on the plane, you put this on in the bathroom and it looks like a gel, but within five minutes it's completely disappeared and you can't see it on your face, but it's protecting. It up, yeah. yeah. So you go on a plane with this on your face and it like is a really good vibe. And then my little Roman there hanging out. I don't use this as much as everyone's obsessed with because I find it like... It goes that weird grain, I can't put it on my it's face. It's a real cult product, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but this? I can't use it effectively. Because it goes funny when you put water on it. Yeah, so it's a washing grain, isn't it? What's that mean? So, here we go, deep pore cleansing. So you mix it with water and you're meant to rub it into your skin. Yeah, but it's you really it hard because it's like putting concrete or clay well, There's on your not face. much movement yeah, in it. Yeah, no there's no movement. So what there's I no learned play to do, time, as we say in the what I, I really, yeah. so what I've learned to do is put a little bit in my palm, get some olive oil, make a paste. Ah, uh, maybe oil will then work do better. it. So I'm more to give it more slip. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to do that. So I love a mask. And I and think... So more Bleach London. Yeah. I love the smell of bleach shampoo. Let me smell. It just, I don't know. So bleach started out with you, didn't they? Yeah, I your... love them. I'm seeing mm. them for lunch on Thursday. You know what? I see them as the Courtney love to my little Kim. I love 
that. You know, we're like two sides of the same type of night is early love that. You've come up together and come yeah. through together. Exactly. So I'm quite excited to see them. Do you feel proud? Big time. Are they proud of you? I bet they are. I'd like to think so. I think we're proud of each other because we just know what it takes. And, you know, we're not... We're not like part of the industry in a way that most other people are. No. We're definitely rebels. I know the feeling. <laughs> what are you going to do next? So you want Beauty Stack to be a huge success, to keep building on that and refining and improving and growing that. What else do you want to do? I feel like you're somebody who's always going to have a million things on the to-do list. What I would like to do... After, so beauty stack oops sorry beauty stack i want to take forward to be a big global business i'll feel satisfied when i go to like lagos and girls are in a club doing nails with beauty stack or if i go to brazil and they're doing it you know beauty is massive in brazil in india everywhere that's if 12 year olds are getting waxed on beauty stack in India when it's like the ritual that the family takes them to get their first like leg wax. If it happens on beauty stack, I'll be happy. Then I want to take the skills that I've learned through building large scale technology and also being on the front line with um, a specific customer group. And I'd really love to have a think tank that writes policy for women and children, but then actually build the technology, you know? So tech is always going to be a big part of your future. I think tech is a big part of everyone's future. And I think it's very different building like a fun consumer out to a big, crazy database, you know, with machine learning and AI or having some kind of innovation in a product where your business is truly a technology based business and not like tech powering a consumer business, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I really, really love innovation and I, I love engineering and I want to make sure that that stays part of what I'm doing. But then I also think I'd like to do something that's quite civic and public, um, but not being government. I think I'd like to have more of an impact outside of Parliament. I know that whatever you do next will be fascinating and brilliant, I'm sure. I could talk to you all day. <laughs> yeah. I, you are definitely, without a doubt, one of my all-time favourite bathroom oh, guests. So thanks. thank you for having us, Shamadine. Oh, thank you, you so brilliant. much. I really appreciate you it. Were brilliant. Yeah. And thank you for watching. And uh, part one is still up, so go back and we'll see you next time. Bye.